Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. There you go. Hey, along with you, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club, and uh, welcome to Tobacco Advent 2019, day one. I've been waiting for this. How are you doing, uh, boy? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And awesome. it's raining, as has been the tradition on yeah. many of the tobacco advents, but uh, let's, let's go ahead and explain what's happening. Um, this is the seventh annual tobacco yeah. advent. So for the past six years, we've asked folks within the, uh, the, the audience here to send a sample of tobacco. Some year, one year, we made the mistake of saying, send your least favorite. I hope that no one thinks we're still on that. No. I mean... That was not pleasant. It was fine. It was, uh, we had some folks that took the challenge. Yeah, but but that was... Uh, the, yeah, but... Taste different. It didn't work out. It didn't work out because people didn't enjoy sending what they didn't like. And so oh, We didn't go the whole year, did we? No, we, we ended up calling it a couple weeks in because That's people right. people were miserable. No one no one sent anything because they didn't, they didn't want to do that to us, uh, which we appreciate, but... Um, and so what I would say is many times someone's favorite tobacco is just not for us. And that's, that's okay. And so that might come up and we're going to be speak honestly about the tobaccos, um, because people have different tastes. They do. Somebody just wrote me a message the other day. It was, it was saying, I can't believe that you smoke that tobacco. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's full of all this <clears> and that. <throat> it's like, look, I, I've smoked this. In this case, it was Captain Black. I bet. And looking back on it, I bet I've smoked 50 pounds or more of Captain Black since I started smoking in 1977. Yeah. And I've never You're experienced old. the horrible things that he was describing. But I, I went on after that to say, but our body chemistries are different, mm -hmm. our tastes are different. And so, you know, I just wouldn't, if you taste a tobacco that you don't like or that burned your tongue, don't think that people that enjoy that are crazy. Right? Yeah. So anyway, back to tobacco the, advent. The tobacco you should smoke is the tobacco you like. That's right. So tobacco advent. Last year we introduced this pipe uh, as our official ornament. This is a. I don't even have a short bit for this. With the short bit, this is sold as the Eaton. Yeah, there it is. The royal bit. It is sold as the Eaton, and and, and that is uh, what we call the Lady Godiva. When this has got a finish on it, it's called the Pony Express. And I've always found it to be, it's a nose warmer, it's very mm -hmm. short. But then someone on one of the forums pointed out that you could put the longer, what's called slim bit on it and make a pipe that is somewhat reminiscent to a Canadian, which is the pipe that was smoked famously by Bing Crosby. So <clears throat> this has been nicknamed the Cobsby and we've enjoyed this now for a while, and last year it was the official ornament of Tobacco Advent. But we have something new to share with you, and that is a white slim bit. So this year's official Cobsby is that. So there's our new ornament, the Cobsby with a white bit, also known as a stem or mouthpiece. <clears throat> so the way this works, People have sent us tobacco. We're going to start at the beginning for the first uh, tobaccos that we received. We we said that we would like one sample, and if anybody wants to send two, um, we would not guarantee that we would smoke that during tobacco advent, uh, meaning they would not necessarily get a Cobsby for the second tobacco. <clears throat> but then, boy, up the ante this year, and that is you offered this. So what is this? Oh, sorry. It was dirty. I'm trying to wipe it off. Uh, it is a custom designed and 3D printed um, ornament that for everybody who sends a tobacco, whether the tobacco comes through one of the tobacco advent days um, or not, uh, will get a 3D printed Mark of Men's Breakfast Club commemorative tobacco advent 2019 Ornament. Would you so, say this is limited edition? Yeah, well, limited to 2019 for sure. Yeah, so uh, we've, I've been printing these in my dining room on my 3D printer nonstop for the last 24 <laughs> hours, just about. Wow. Um, and so you can see we're we're getting quite uh, quite a number of them um, stocked up. 
So uh, whether we are able to use your, your tobacco or not during tobacco advent, uh, if we don't, we'll use it later uh, at the beginning of the year. Um, we'll make sure that everyone gets one of these uh, Marco Men's Breakfast Club ornaments. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get this started. So our first tobacco, which was received first, right out of the chute, came from Signalman Tony from Rhode Island. Uh, it says, I hope this package found you well. I'd like to wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year. I enclosed two different tobaccos for your tobacco advent for 2019. The first tobacco is from John's Pipe Shop in Champaign, Illinois. It's Cumberland Gap, an aromatic tobacco, a vanilla case mixture of Virginia's Burley and Black Cavendish. That's what we're gonna smoke, so I'm gonna skip the description of the other one. I hope you enjoy these tobaccos in good health, and I also included two lighters that I hope you will enjoy also. So uh, two brand new boxed customized Zippo lighters. Wow, thank that, you. That have a, uh, a traffic light on them. So his name is Signalman. Tony from Rhode Island. Uh, I don't know, Tony, does that mean that you're on a train as a signalman? I don't know wow. that, but beautiful. this is great. So, so thoughtful. And uh, we, lighters. We, we just it's happen awesome. to have <laughs> that, much, that much fluid here. And uh, so I'll tell you what, let's use that in just one of these, and then let's make that lighter the official lighter of tobacco admin at least till our, our fluid <laughs> runs out how about for, that for 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 this uh today anyway well maybe we fill it from the wick end just to That's... be safe oh wow it's a pipe lighter it too is. tony you are awesome buddy yeah thank you for those of you who don't know zippo makes a insert specifically right. for pipes that has a hole through it so you can lay this on top of your bowl and draw the flame down in and a cool thing that folks may not know is if you have a Zippo that has the standard insert, you can mail that insert to Zippo, and for free, they will send you, I think it's free, you might have to pay postage, they will send you a, a pipe lighter insert, and what's crazy, at least up until now, they send you both of them back. Really? So you're sending them one basically as proof of purchase and they return them both to you. Because what are they going to do with a used yeah. insert? Great, great service the good folks at Zippo provide. Uh, well, we have run out and we are not saturated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, we'll, we'll do what we can do here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my Cobsby filled. And then... <clears throat> Why don't you explain what we're doing with questions today? Because yeah, so the question of the day is a little different. It is. So, uh, like normal, we're going to have a question of the day every day for Tobacco Advent. Um, but we have answered every single question known to man about Christmas, holiday, traditions, family, blah, 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 blah. And so this year, we're just uh, answering some random questions. So we, we found some random stupid silly questions um haven't really vetted them so if they're terrible we'll veto um but uh, something a little bit different a little bit unique hopefully all right we didn't bother printing them out this year because technology did you use the official lighter to like this? I did. If you could choose any person in history to be your imaginary friend, I can. Who would it be and why? <laughs> your imaginary friend? That's a good question. <laughs> it's a weird question. Any person in history. Tony. 
Talk about vetting. Wouldn't it be nice <laughs> to be able to spend a few minutes with your imaginary friend before you choose them as your imaginary friend? Because mm -hmm. what if you choose them and it turns out they're a real a-hole? They're, they're a real a-hole yeah. with, a, with, a, with a really weird voice. Yeah. Yeah, you, you get like <clears throat> Mother Teresa and it turns out she's a big racist or, you know. Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be bad. Uh, got it. All right, I'm thinking. So you go ahead. Um, hmm. Can we put a stipulation on here? No. Sure. I would say non-religious because I think that a lot of us who mm -hmm. are <clears throat> religious are going to pick somebody from our religion, right? Well. Uh yeah, but what if I want to pick someone from someone else's religion? So there's the one exception. So we're going to keep this non-religious. <laughs> Unless it's someone else's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, be kind. Um, I think... Ooh, oh, that's a good one, too. Uh, I just... I'm, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Mr. Rogers... Because, you know... He's already your imaginary friend, isn't he? No. He's my neighbor. <laughs> Not my imaginary friend. Uh, Why? You know, Why? Uh, because, because... Because he's at the theater right now? Being he's, played by Tom Hanks? Probably. Probably some of that. Because... Uh, what do you want from an imaginary friend? You want someone that's going to listen. You want someone that's going to be encouraging. You, you want someone with creativity. Um... I mean, I I don't see, I don't see negativity coming from having greater Mister Rogers influence in my life. So, I, I would take that. Hmm. Yeah. Probably not going to become creepy and weird at some point. Probably. You? I, I honestly think it would be Samuel Clemens. Not just Who's because that? we have the same affinity for smoking um, I, I think he was very clever very funny could definitely turn a phrase could tell a great story and I like good storytellers I'm, I'm drawn to storytellers and I know that in the end of his life he got a bit bitter and it might be interesting to try to be a positive influence on a guy like that. He, he had gained and lost so much in his life. Uh, so a really a, important a, question. A little bit of a knee-jerk answer to the, a question. <laughs> Two very important questions. One, do you get to choose what period in, in their life you befriend them imaginarily? Right? <laughs> so, I mean, are they dead? Are they a, a dead imaginary friend? Can you choose, you know, I want to be their uh, imaginary friend in their 20s, 40s, 60s. And with Samuel Clemens, um, is there an opportunity to uh, exploit him and write some of his books? Oh, certainly. <laughs> Tell me a story, pal. Certainly. Uh, there's no question about that. Yeah, totally missed out on the money-making <laughs> part of the scheme. Yeah. I'm not sure that his humor is for today, but imaginarily it perhaps is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll, it'll kill with all, all of the other imaginary... What would he say about... <laughs> imaginary the, dead people. About the Twitters and the, the, mm. hash, the hashtags. Yeah, okay. So, we're imagining our imaginary friends, uh, a friend. Um, yeah, any, any point in history, any time, any circumstance. Uh, I, I would probably still pick a more mature Samuel Clemens with the experiences, the world travel and so on right. that he had under his belt um maybe i'd maybe i'd choose though before he got bitter so and angry does your do the imaginary friends in these scenarios have a choice but to hang out with you <laughs> because, I'm, I'm because maybe maybe they don't maybe uh they decide that you know they'd rather not be your friend <laughs> no I, I imagine that as we imagine our imaginary friends, <laughs> that they want to be with us actually more than we want them to be with mm. us. Right. So, like, is this an on-off 
can you turn it on off situation or is like is he there all, all the, the time, time in the shower there's in no the, escape yeah. from fred rogers my friend right yeah <laughs> that's fine <laughs> that's fine it's the nosy neighbor <laughs> what you doing there neighbor <laughs> Yeah, it got creepy there in the back end. Episode one in the can, if you know what I mean. So, I like this tobacco. I, I want to keep smoking it. You can't. Sorry. Um, thank you, Tony. Thank you so much for the tobacco and the lighters. It's amazing. Um, by the way, we should mention we are wearing the official uh, Mark Men's Breakfast Club tobacco advent uh, ugly sweater t-shirt and sweatshirt. From 2018. Yours yeah. did not hold up well because apparently you've been wearing it. I also I have the gray and the white. I like it on the white better. It pops on the white. So what what did not happen? The the way it prints the um, design has it's it's designed to look like a sweater, and so it's got some spots where the background shines through, and so on a white background it pops. It, on on the gray. You, you can see there's a lot of gray in here. So it's not that it's faded so much that it's just the way it's designed. And so there's not as much and, contrast. And note that the the clock, which matches the clock on the wall behind us. The which can also be purchased. Um, it matches our official ornament as well because that is emulating a Shopsmith logo, which was the original wall clock back here. Just because we're, we're, we're different like that. Yep. Mark Twain understands me. I don't know about... Yeah. About Fred. Fred's understanding. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, that is all for today. Check back tomorrow with Tobacco Advent Day 2. And remember, we're going to be here every day this year and uh, every day this month, rather, through the 25th. And in addition to the Tobacco Advent videos, we are also going to be putting out our regularly scheduled weekly Marco Men's Breakfast Club videos as well. Because we're crazy. Stupid. Just dumb. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Make it a great day.